he just chose to stop, but it wasn't a big, wasn't a biggie. Okay. Yeah. One tip: don't talk over your examiner. Wait for them to finish. <laughs> Second tip: have a par. <laughs> Hello today crew, it's my turn to get tortured once again. Not only is it raining, but I'm back in a manual car. <laughs> Where are we Desmond? This is Desmond everybody. Welcome, Hi, everybody. Desmond. Hi everybody. We're in Bromley today. Okay, Bromley so we're in Center. Bromley. Desmond's yep. um, local to this area, you know this area quite yep. well. Yep. I have no idea where I'm going and what Desmond's going to ask me to do. And up, is it? Yeah. I no, it's, it's not, not like Pina. It's going to be really busy this and really Bromley. difficult. This is Bromley. We're going to do a mock test. We We're going are. to do all the manoeuvres. Yeah, we're going to do a mock test. Yeah. It's not going to be easy on me. Nope. We're going to be super strict. Super strict. All right, should we get going? You can get going, yes. All right, okay. So um, I'm just going to listen to Desmond now. So take it from here, yep. please, Des. I'd like to follow the road ahead. When I want to turn left and right, I will tell him good time. If I don't say anything, I'm likely to follow the road ahead. When I want to turn left and right, I will tell him good time, as I said. Um, if you're not sure of anything, ask me, and I'll, ask, and I'll repeat what I've said to you. Okay, I'm not sure. We're going to be doing one of the manoeuvres, yeah. or we're going to do all of the reversing manoeuvres, yeah. possibly an emergency stop. Right. Okay, then? Yeah. Brilliant. So when you're ready, drive on, Scott. We're going to follow the sat now for a few minutes before we I'll start to tell you where to turn left and right. Okay, okay, cool. Um, so we're going to start with the independent driving. Oh, yeah, straight Just away. before we get going, Des, yep. would you give me a hand? Yep. Oh, God. How do I do this? On the back? You can just wiggle. All right. Wiggle, wiggle. Wiggle, wiggle. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. wiggle. wiggle it first. Get the plate acid. Ah. Get the material. The, well, That's good. Warm up there. Nice. Yep. Okay. Um, right. One other thing. How do I move this chair forwards? Down there, sir. Oh. 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 Because when they go wrong, they're expensive. Sneak. Yeah, they are they expensive. Are. <laughs> all right, okay, so yeah. I'm going to follow Good. the road Sat ahead. Yep, follow Sat the road. Yep. Okay, Driving all right. Came in. All round cool. observations. Very good. Very tight Got car park. Oh my yeah. God. Manuals, they released. You have to release a manual handbrake. Where's the handbrake? It's underneath the light switch. It's a little oh. Oh. Yeah, well, yeah, Why is it hiding all the way down there? There you go. What? There you go. All right, I pulled it. That releases yeah. it. There you go. Good, okay. Right. Excellent. Again, all round observations. Check you in first gear. And let's go. let's go. Okay. Right. I'm going to be quiet now and just listen to my examiner. It's a nasty little bump. Right. Okay. All right. So we've got a shop here. So yeah, we could have people coming yeah, and going. Out. Got a tight bend. All right. Yep. Is it just me or is it warm in here? It's warm in here. Is it warm? Why is it? AC on for you. Oh, right. Warm okay. Down a bit. Thank you. So I just start glowing red otherwise. Can you not <laughs> tell? Like... <laughs> okay. So just really gentle. I've got oncoming traffic, but they've stopped for me. So I'm going to keep making Excellent. my way nice and slow. I've just stayed in first gear okay. this whole time. Um, so at the end of the road, Scott, I'd like you to turn left. Okay, I'm just going to keep it in first gear because I'm coming to the end of the road. And this is a closed junction. So we've got five lines down the centre of the road. By the time I reach the third line, if I can't see properly, I'm going to stop at the end of the road. Because this is what we'd call a closed junction. Yep. Yep. Okay, I'm still in first gear, so that's all good. Now I'm just going to make sure I do my observations, which are the number one reason why people fail their driving test. Excellent. So, we're going to make sure it's all clear, and then just peep and creep. Peep and creep okay, means to move cool. out nice and slow. Keep looking both directions. And then follow the sat-nav now. Lovely. All right, sat-nav's on. So, we've got sat-nav here. Oh, right. I'm so confused. So, turning right. Mirror, mirror, signal right. Pedestrians here have stopped. Their feet are side by side. And again, a closed junction. So, I'm just coming to a stop at the end of the road. And then I'm going to do my watching the tennis, right? Yeah. Yeah. So now I can see there's no vehicles coming from the right. I'm slowly edging forwards, but I do still have a couple of vehicles on the left. Actually, quite a lot of vehicles on the left. So I'm just going to hold tight. I've got my clutch down all the way. And I am holding on the brake. And I'm in first gear. Just going to triple check. I'm definitely in first gear. Because sometimes people stop in yep, third yeah, gear. Looks like first gear, yep. All right. Um, hmm, 
there's a gap on the right again, there's a gap after this white car, start to find the biting point, start to add a bit of gas, and make my way forward. It's lovely jubbly. Yep. All right, second gear, Whee! A little bit more gas, third gear. Oh my God, what happened to my sat nav? Ooh. Okay, all right, sat nav's back on, ladies and gentlemen. It's okay for now. Definitely. <laughs> I just unmuted it, I think it was on mute. So. Ah, right. Yeah. You got annoyed with her. <laughs> yeah. <Talk> too much. <laughs> <laughs> you know that, right? <laughs> Sat nav just goes yeah. and goes and At goes. The roundabout, take the first exit to Play Steel Lane. Okay, Play Steel Lane, right? Okay. All right. So the roundabout, that's the first exit. So what I'm doing is wiggling my bum to get it nice and comfortable for second gear. Very good. Gearing down. Ooh, a little bit jumpy on the clutch there, holding the brake gently as I was gearing down. And now I'm making sure I'm keeping clearance from the parked cars. So I need to be yep. slightly over. Look, there someone opens the door. Okay, I slowed down. I was prepared to stop there for the pedestrian. There could be more people opening their doors, so I'm looking into the parked vehicles. And as you come up to the one-way system, Scott, you can drive on to the, to the lines on the floor. Okay, so we're going to go on these hatch markings yeah, here. Petrol station. I won't go into the bicycle lane, and I'm just doing my observations right, left, right, okay. just to make sure it's clear. Cancelled my signal, just in case it stays on, because there's a road coming up on the left. And I feel like the road's making progress, so I'm going to go into third gear. Woo! Why am I getting excited about changing gears? Because you don't have gears in your car, Scott. I've got flappy paddles, like big ears hiding behind the steering wheel. Like Dumbo in my car. It's amazing. Right, I'm going to gear down because I'm on a bit of a hill. So clutch down, move the gear lever to second gear, clutch up, add some gas. You can hear the revs going back up again. I've got momentum for third gear. Down on the clutch, slip the gear into third, and back on the gas. So when people are changing into third gear, it's quite an easy gear change, but people yeah. do actually make a lot of errors with it. They'll go push right, go into fifth, fifth. gear, or push left and go into second, sorry, first, first gear. Yep. Um, but what we really want to do is just push no left, no right, just push center. Center. Just push, yeah. just neutrally and forward. Yeah. And it slips into third gear naturally. Yep. Yep. So it's actually quite a nice gear change once you've got it, but it's, it's something that comes up a lot when people are learning, doesn't it? Yeah. Yep. It falls to the gear lever. They don't palm it. Gentle with the TLC. Yes, gentle palm it. Yeah. yeah. So you just push forward it's like again. this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's right. Yes, yeah, so it's kind of like a pause in between, isn't it? Neutral yeah. and then forwards again. Yep. Wow, all those memories are coming back about <laughs> teaching manual. Okay, um, right, now I'm coming towards a and roundabout. Out, take the second exit to play still lane. Jinx, she can't talk now. What's the deal with Jinx again? I don't even remember. I've got to say their name five <laughs> times, something like, something like that. All right, so we're coming towards the roundabout. I'm going straight ahead. So I'm in first gear. I'm very gently raising the clutch up, just letting the car trickle towards the roundabout. Early vision, early decision. These are all Desmond's quotes, by the way. I learn a lot from Desmond, right, left, right, no one on the right, in the danger zone, mirror, mirror, signal, and exit. There's a pedestrian here, so I'm going to slow down a little, and oncoming traffic, in I may even, mile, turn left onto Widmore Road. may even need to stop, yep, this is a meeting road, because this is too tight, and I have to go over the centre space, line into speed. their That's lane, right. yeah, so I'm not going to go into their lane, because they technically have priority, now that there's no one coming, check my right mirror, move out. That car's had its mirror knocked off. Did you see that? The glass yep. is hanging out. Yep. So you can see how tight that area is. So if you need to be over the center line in the oncoming traffic, it That's must right. be safe to proceed. Yep. Um, unless for other reasons like the oncoming traffic might have stopped, yep. then maybe you can just yep. make your way around the traffic. Okay, third gear. I'm constantly checking for speed signs. Guys, this is my weakness. So... If Desmond wants to exploit mile, that, turn left onto good way to find my weakness. We were talking about the main reasons, weren't we? The three top yeah, reasons. Yeah. So you can go check that video yeah. out. Why people fail the driving test. Yeah, observation, um, yeah, observation, observation number one. Yeah. Not making progress. Not making progress. Speed number two. And you can say, what do we say? Not I said roundabouts. Roundabouts, yeah. that's correct. Yeah. Turn Perfect. left onto okay. Road, so we're coming towards a junction. Left. Oh, I know this. Up in here. Mirror, mirror, signal left, holding the left lane, although there's two that go left. 
change down to second. I'm watching my right side because I know this merges pretty much. And I'm keeping my left side one meter from the left. So at the Always roundabout, drive over I'm yellow. Gonna, I'm just going to take off from the sat nav. We're yeah. Follow the road ahead. Okay, just check my right side, change direction. And I've been told by the examiner I'm following the road ahead, second exit at the roundabout. So we're going to do another video all about this awareness and planning. So this is just looking ahead, scanning the road, seeing the roundabout sign, seeing the road markings. And then the secret for roundabouts is your speed on the approach. Okay. The car on my right has got straight wheels and it's not moving so I'm going to go because there is no danger on the right the right side is the danger zone which I mentioned earlier and be quiet because I'll probably get some kind of direction from the examiner soon holding my speed here less space less speed number one rule of driving now I've got more space I can get more speed and back into third gear constantly looking for speed signs but there's no speed signs it would generally be 30 but do keep yep. looking for signs i'm not going fast because of that vehicle yep. Yep. blue light situation fourth gear it's telling me to downshift but yeah, i'm not this listening to it fourth gear really. it doesn't uh -huh. okay fine there's diesel yeah okay mm -hmm. all right i'm just sticking to the left because i've heard no direction from the examiner Sat -nav. Okay, back into second because the light changed. That could quite commonly happen as you approach a red light. It would change green by the time you've got there. So keep do do keep watching the traffic light. I'm going to move out to the right. I'm not going to signal because it's not necessary here. There's no real lane change. Just changing direction. So of after vehicle. the bus stop, Scott, I like yep. to pull up somewhere that is safe. Okay. On the left okay. Place. So it's quite busy in these parking bays. I don't see any spaces at the moment. I'm scanning the road ahead for lampposts or trees. Because where lampposts and trees are, usually I'll have a nice section of raised curb. I don't really want to stop on yellow lines. And I can see beyond this is loads of raised curb with loads of free space. I didn't signal left until I passed that beautiful car coming out the side road there. And I'm just going to gently, gently get closer and gently and gently brake and gently and gently come to a stop so I don't annoy my examiner and give him a hard ride. Now, uh, handbrake's down there. I'm going to put it on, which is probably a mistake. And I've got neutral. I'm going to relax and I'm going to listen to my examiner. Okay. Don't forget the catch your signal. Excellent. Don't forget, you can use the hold technique on, on the manual. Oh, I you forgot can, you've got so the hold as well. But hang that on, route. if I put the hold on, I still got to keep the clutch down? Nope. Oh, I can put you the neutral, neutral and then... then you're done and rest yeah. your feet. Okay, yeah. I'll do that next time. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Okay. All right. Okay. Follow the sat nav again for me. Okay, so back on independent In drive. The of a mile, We're back into our POM. Okay. Park Road. So this is quite a challenge. So I'm being asked to pull over and stop on quite a busy road mm -hmm. and then move away. And this is something that's quite common on test. Oh, the bloody handbrake <laughs> down there. That's why I don't use it once I'm driving. I didn't really move. I remember this. Think, think about where you're going to park next time, Scott. Look opposite. What's opposite us, Scott? The park car. Yeah. It was quite wide. You could have stopped a bit further up. And yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah, I could. Cool. I'm not going to mark you for it. But yeah. it's a, it's a non-fall. Non yes. Yeah. yeah. If it was a smaller road, oh yeah, mm -hmm. that happens, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, it does. It does happen. That's so right. listen to your examiner when they say a convenient place, because if you park on a narrow road next to a parked car, not convenient, That's blocks correct. the road. That's correct. Okay. Turn left onto Bickley Park Road. Oh, hey, you're not telling me it's a roundabout, lady, huh? I can tell you probably wasn't a roundabout. It been, it probably could have been a T junction. So now they've made it around about to make the road flow. There's your blocker now, I've got some blocker cars. Yep. I'm going to trickle through with my blocker cars there. Looks good. Lovely. In three quarters of a mile, turn right onto Watts Lane. Okay, just checking speed limits again. I might hold second gear because it's going to give me some engine braking. Yep. As you can see, the vehicle's increasing in speed slightly. Um, even though I'm in second gear, I'm not using any brake, I'm not using any uh, clutch or anything accelerator. else, accelerator, yeah. just letting it go. Now it's leveling out, I need a little bit of gas, and I'm going to shift up. So on the theory test, you know, low gears for going up and yeah. down hills. So now I'm going up, yeah? So let's see if third gear seems to be alright, seems to be pulling its weight. 
27 yep. miles an hour. Yep. yep. All right, it's decent. Okay. And then I'm thinking maybe second gear for these bends, but if I just keep a light bit of gas, let's see. Yep. Seems to be all right. Diesels have got more torque, so I believe that helps when going up hills. I'm not sure exactly what torque is, but I think it's something about power, power isn't it? Yeah, 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 like more power, yeah, yeah. like pulling cars pulling, out of ditches yeah, and yeah, stuff yeah. like In that. In a quarter of a mile, turn right onto Watts Lane. Okay, so that's a quarter of a mile. It's not that far away, but I'm not panicking about mirror signal position speed look yet because I still have some distance. I've had a glance down at my left mirror or internal, external, right mirror now. Um, because I'm moving in and out around parked cars, so it's a good habit to have for what's called change right, of direction. All right, so we're coming back to bloody West Wickham now. <laughs> Are we not? Look, this looks like West Wickham. All right, turning right, mirror, mirror, signal. Second gear is good for roundabouts. No traffic on the right. Slightly driving on the circle to avoid hitting the pavement on the left, which I'm sure Desmond wouldn't want me to do. Turn right onto Morley Road. And looking for speed signs still. Now, areas like this can change quite a lot. You can have so many yeah. different kinds of yeah. speeds. New road, new rules. Yes, all right. Yeah. New road, new rules. Yeah. Excellent. That's yeah. a new one. Not heard yeah. that one before. Yeah. Okay, um, right, now I'm looking at my sat-nav, slowing down slightly for the bumps. Okay. What I'd like to do, Scott, pull up on the right where we're safe, please. Okay, all right, so I see this next part vehicle, and I'm thinking, all right, no, it's double yellow lines there. Okay, so we're going to do our manoeuvre, pull up on the right. That's not There's really of, enough space. A, yeah. Bays coming up. Let's yeah. take the next yeah. one. Now, it's in a bend, so this is quite a challenge. So I'm really going to have a good look, and I see an oncoming car. So what I'm going to do is just kind of go a little bit further, because I've seen another bay. Don't like that gear. And then we're just going to trickle up here. I've done my mirrors, done my signals. The car behind those, I want to pull over to the right. Now that there's no oncoming traffic, I'll make my way to the other side of the road. And we're going to come in nice and gentle like an airplane landing at the airport. Smooth, steady line. Oncoming traffic here, so I'm going to stop. And I'm nice and straight with the curb. I'm going to do the hold technology, neutral, and relax. Very good. Okay, we like to do now, Scott, is a reverse back, mm -hmm. about two car lengths. Mm -hmm. Keep the risk because of the curve, I'll ask you to stop once you get to two car spaces. Okay. Start when you're ready, please. Thank you very much, Mr. Examiner. Now, this is the confusing part. How the hell do you go into a fest? <laughs> what are you doing there, Des? <laughs> Lifting up and over to the right and down. All over right. to the left, sorry, and down. Yeah. Okay, right, now there's an oncoming car, so up over to the left and down like the examiner told me thank you very much waiting for the oncoming car to pass do my all-round observation starting from least dangerous to most dangerous and now desmond would you do me a favor um would you take this camera from here and just show the viewers our reverse camera so if you just flip it around yeah and just if you wouldn't mind just showing obviously you gotta watch me but you're not supervising no, me, are no, you, no, sir? Okay. No. All right. So what we're going to do um, is we're going to do our reverse now. So tap the gas, Des said. Lovely. And we're going to do all of this with clutch control. Very good. Um, so you just very gently, I'm going to stop because there's a car coming on my left side that they may pull over and stop on this side of the road. You're going to make a little bit of progress now with some observations before the next car comes. And I'm checking this thin yellow line just here on the right side of the car because that's showing me where the side of the vehicle is. I also have a blind spot mirror out here, which is quite nice. So I'm going to use that blind spot mirror down there. Again, just doing some more all-round observations. And then we're using that camera. I'm going to bring it in a little bit. You might see it's coming in a bit, because I do want to be a little bit closer to the curb, because it was quite far out. And in my understanding, I think you're allowed to go a little bit more than two car lengths as long as you're doing it safely. And I'm ending That's up fine. in Thank a nice position. Excellent. Hold you. technology on. Can we just show people the holds there? So we've got this hold, which does the brake for me and keeps the brake on. And then just down here, going to go up and into neutral. And we're just going to move the stick left and right so we're in neutral. And then finally, just down here in the footwell. Now, if you can see my foot, I can relax the clutch and fully relax. 
Lovely, thank you. And then we'll just clip this little baby back over here, if anyone can see us, because it's so dark and gloomy today. Sorry, I apologize for the weather. Right, Mr. Examiner, okay. what's next? Drive them when you're ready, please. All right, so we've got first gear. Um, I'm gonna got to keep the whole technology on. I'm gonna do my all round observations from right to left. It's pretty clear. So I'm just gonna add a bit of gas now, which takes the whole technology off. Clutch up all the way. I'm gonna keep it in first gear, just cause I'm in a new car and I just wanna take it extra slow with these width restrictions. So some people have reference points so that they can kind of see where the car is. Um, you can always dip the clutch, raise the clutch. You can even come to a very slow stop. Just keep scanning both sides. Use your blind spot mirrors if you have them or use reference points if that works for you so that you know how wide your vehicle is. You know you can fit through the gap. Good, that's it. Oh, good one, breathe in. <laughs> mm. <laughs> We're gonna breathe out. Yeah, breathe out now. Why am I not going that slow? Okay. Take the second road on the left, please. Second road on the left. So this is your first. Uno. Yeah. Dos. Yes. Mirror, mirror, signal. Second gear, yeah. pretty decent. Yeah. Diesel should handle this in second gear. Yeah. 10 to 12 miles an hour. Okay, we're gonna do the steering. No gas, no brake. Car's just cruising. Feels like a nice 10 mile an hour speed. Pretty That's decent. It. Check my interior right mirror. Move out. There is no oncoming traffic. But I bet Desmond was hoping that there was because <laughs> this road is quite naughty. I can't even see because there's a bend here. So I'm assuming, um, or not assuming, I'm uh, doing my planning, okay, yeah, to move. Reflections. Yeah, reflections. reflections. I've seen them. I've yeah, seen lights. They've parked. They've yeah, stopped. Now, Check my right mirror yeah. again. All right, we're making our way through. So at the end of the road, Scott, I'd like you to turn left. Keeping first gear, I geared down into first from the corner in second. Yes, and at the end of the road, I will be going left, left. Check the interior right mirror to move out, change direction, no oncoming traffic. And Mark failed me for this on my last video. So there's no, Mark, if you're watching, Mark's coming back, we're going to do another one. Turning where? Left, please. Left, mirror, mirror, signal left. And I want to come to a complete stop. Excellent. Is that good enough? Very good. Are you, you sure? Can't. I'm very sure. Yeah, you don't want me to reverse a bit? No. No? no All right. I'm very sure. <laughs> That's why I got one of these, Scott. A green bag. Oh! Very sure. Whoa, very why did, that good. Feel, did the whole technology come on there? No, I think you oh. the clutch control. Yeah. Okay. All right. I quite like it, though. You know what? This car, it feels really... Yeah. I'm not lying. Like, no, no, seriously, no. it feels very sturdy. Yeah. The clutch feels very nice. You know, it feels solid. Mm. Um, feels different like to my car. Yeah. No, different. Yeah. Like yeah. this feels more solid. Okay. My feel, mine feels light and floaty and stuff. Yeah. Like yeah, like it's trying to get away from you. Okay. This one feels like you're like in like full control. It's soft and, yeah. <laughs> I like Harry bows. Everyone likes Harry, Harry bows. bows. Nice and soft. Yeah, lovely. Right now, Excellent. so I don't get distracted. I am continuing to follow the road yes, ahead. You are. All right. Road ahead. Yes, Old please. technology on. Slap the gear around to make yeah. sure I'm in yeah. neutral. Yeah. And then so, the light changes. You can green. see Scott's old school because when he does in neutral, he does a lot of making noise with a gear lever. You I'm don't have to make off. noises. You can just go to neutral. He flicks. But a good way of checking it is side to side. There's a lot of movement once it's in neutral. Why is it so slow? Because someone's turning, turning right, right. across roads. Can't see a right is this not one. near West Wickham? No, this is Chisholm wow. House. This looks so familiar. Do you know that what yeah. you know the area well? Yeah, so yeah, yeah. with West Wickham, what's that area that looks like this? Keston. Is it? Keston Mark. Yep. Hayes Common. Right. Yeah. And there's double roundabouts near there. There is, and there's, yeah. a, there's a, lots of bushes, lots of green. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's what we're going to come to. Wow. Now. Oh, is this coming towards there? or No, no. We're far away. Right, wow. Yeah. We're about so there. familiar. Okay, cool. So these are all test routes, obviously, yes. guys, yeah. why you probably tuned yeah. in. So where are we? We were Bromley North, weren't we? Bromley North earlier. Bromley we're North, we're yeah. We're in Chiselhurst now. Okay. And a lot of people fail at that stop junction. We just went don't to. come to a complete stop. They, don't, they see it because it's quite a nice open junction. Mm -hmm. They see the opportunity mm -hmm. and they come straight out. Yep, yep. And the car doesn't actually stop. Okay, I put myself into gear. I'm going to do left and right or not. Mirrors. All the mirrors, yep. filtering traffic, a little bit of gas. 
and then just driving on, following the road ahead. That is my priority, so I'm not stopping for that car that's emerging. They need to give way. A lot of people get scared about the cars coming out of side roads and stop, don't they? They do. Like what happened with uh, the squirrel. Yep, that's right. So it was on a road like this, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, what happened yeah, there? Yeah, they stopped. Okay. So a squirrel came yep, out. Yep, take his first road on the right, please. First road on the right. Yep, and so. they stopped for that squirrel. And what did the um, authorities have to say about the squirrel? You don't have to stop for a squirrel. So you don't have to stop for a squirrel, okay? Right, um, so I'm taking this next road on the right. A few people are also taking this next road on the right. Yeah, I'm going to position. Ah, oh. why is it called a Y junction? Because it is shape. It looks like a letter Y. Yes, sir. Would I walk across? Yay! Go, 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 go. go. Okay, second gear. So there's a few wide junctions here. Third gear. So the angle can be a bit awkward at times. Oh, this is a nice road. Mm. I like driving there's through There's ducks trees. sometimes come through this road here, and they cross at this section here to get across the field for feeding. Oh, right. Mm. So please don't run them over. Please stop your car. Oh, so stop yeah, for ducks, for but ducks. don't stop for squirrels. There you go. At the end of the road, turn right, please. Cool. All right, mirror, mirror, signal right. Hey, I swear I've been to these roads before. I think I remember. Our kickers were from me. Yeah, I think I think I know this road. See, I feel so lost. So you might have to angle your car to get a better position at the Y junction. Oh, I see. So we're going to keep swing to the centre line. Swing it round to me a bit. Yeah, yeah, so we don't go over that line. And then you've got a good view. There's yeah, a and I'm looking out this back window. Creates a blind spot. Yeah. Very good. Okay. That was a tricky junction because the observations were quite difficult. So I really had to look over mm -hmm. my shoulder yeah. and out the back window there to see correctly. And there's a pub coming up just on the left, just before the zebra. Yeah. Take the first road on the left. Oh, just before the zebra. Yes, okay, mirror, mirror, signal. It's a one-way street. Okay. That's a lifeline. So if you hear your examiner say that, be ready for your right turn at the end of the one-way street. Sometimes people park their cars on Ooh. in the wrong position there. In the double so yellow lines. So it makes lines. it awkward to turn. Yep. Okay. Now this is a little bit narrow. This guy's sticking his wheels out in the road, and okay, they're almost touching the curb though. Okay, it's quite a narrow road, isn't it? Right. Okay. It's a one-way street. <sighs> yeah. Mm. Yeah. Good thing. Yeah. That's true. Uh, you get a lot of roads that aren't one-way streets, yeah. like this. Yep. Um, down into first gear. Yep. Very right good. Point. And I'm just continuing to follow the road yes, ahead. Yes, you are. Slight stack okay. junction. Yep. All right. Mm -hmm. Cool. So here we are. Traffic lights are your friends. So if you do have a red traffic light, just use that time to have a good look at the road ahead. Reaching for the handbrake, mm -hmm. so I put the hold on. The hold's even better, to be honest. Yeah. Okay, and then we won't slap the gear too much. So, do you have a handbrake in your car? No, same no. as you. Okay, yeah, yeah. Same, same as yeah. you. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's yeah. a little bit in a yeah. different position, Is it? Is but it lower? it's just next to. You see the lights yeah. here? It's just here. Okay. Yeah, just on the left of the lights. Yeah. I thought they kept it the same. Yeah. Uh, it's not too Icons. far off. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Um, just slightly different. Just a little bit higher. Same operation, you push it to put it on, you pull it to take it yep. off. Right, I'm trying to predict the traffic light. I can see the green light for the pedestrians. So when that goes off, to save me putting that clutch down and keeping it down forever, I'll do it when that turns off and predict that the light may change green shortly after. I'm on hold technology. Yep. I'm checking all my mirrors just to make sure there's yep. no motorbikes that are pulled up. On the gas, up the on gas. the clutch, Very good. and off we go. Stagger junction, so I'm just checking my mirrors on the left and the right as I wiggle my way through the junction. Here the revs changing into second yeah. gear. Is it just me, or is that quite difficult? That's a difficult gear change, isn't it? Is that why you've got that little dot on your rev counter? No, I told people to change roughly between 9 and 10 miles an hour. You actually can change earlier in the diesel. Okay, yeah. If you change later, you get that little key. Yeah, so I'm changing later, so aren't I? Change yeah. A bit earlier. Okay. You could be all the gears could be done by twenty miles an hour. Yeah. Uh, fifth gear as well. Twenty? No, no. Oh, no. no. Okay. No. All right, because so because most of the gears will yeah. be done by one, two, three. Yeah. That's the most gears we use around here. Yeah. Unless you're in a forty, right. then you're forty. Uh, fourth, fourth gear. Okay. Yeah. All right. Cool. Yeah. 
All right, uh, we're giving a little bit of power to climb the hill. We're in third gear, and that helps me to get up the hill. It's just like being on a bicycle. So if you're uh, going uphill, you'll be pedaling. And if you're going downhill, you're more than likely going to hold a brake. That's it. Okay, uh, so it's just quite a long bendy road. Lane discipline is quite important here. It's not too wide the lane, um, but if I just keep my speed around 20, 25 miles an hour, it's not too yeah. bad. Um, slow means hazard. Yeah. So we're looking for the hazard. It would be the bend in this situation. Or and look at that. Or a driveway. Okay, yeah. so lots of different there, reasons. Same. Junction, yeah. cool. Going downhill, I'm going to use second gear because that looks quite steep. Up on the clutch before I even start the downhill section. And that again is holding me at a rough speed there of about 20 miles an hour. Up wow. on the left before the next part of okay. go, go, go quite close to it. Yeah. It's so obviously moving off. Mirror, mirror signal. Give yourself enough yeah. room. So once he moves off, mm -hmm. give yourself enough room to move About a car off. length, yeah. About a car's length. Okay. Clutch down all the way. And that's probably roughly about a car length. Put it on hold. Put it in neutral. Relax. Yep. Relax your feet. Cancel signal. Good to go. And drive on when you're ready, please. On lovely jubbly. Oh, downhill start. Second gear, ladies mm -hmm. and gentlemen. Uh, tap the gas, oh, yep. all round observations, yep. Yep. and then gently up on the clutch as I move away, Very and good. there we go, Next. move up in second gear. Yep. Okay, good. third gear, we're on a 30 mile an hour road, until I've seen signs telling me otherwise, so I'm going to keep looking for signs, fourth gear, it's telling me to go back I'm down to third gear. Unless you're above oh. 35, 40 miles an hour, mum doesn't like it. Okay. I like back when we was at the one-way system, when you set the gas and then you brought the clutch up. A lot of some instructors will teach you to get the buying point, but you don't need to get the buying point. You set the revs, then find the buying point. What so about if you're on an uphill? Then you would find the bikes, then we change the technique slightly. Uphill start? Yeah, most most modern cars will have hill assist. Yeah. So you could still set the gas upon the bike and give out that three second window. From third gear to first gear. Yeah, block change. Good. Block change. Very good. Taking it slow, Excellent. holding the clutch down, getting Ooh. my bearings, gently up on the clutch, gently on the gas, and off we go. So follow the sign towards Bromley, please. Okay, following the sign towards Bromley. It's hidden in the bush, but I can see Bromley. I know who's coming back later to get rid of those uh, <laughs> branches. Okay, early vision, early decision, and no one's there, so second gear and off I go. All right, third gear, ladies and gentlemen, looking for speed signs. I don't see any speed signs, so I'm assuming 30. 30. That's right. Step I see an gear. advisory. Yeah. Oh, I don't like full gear, like Jesus it. Christ. That's Advisory cool. here, information, 20. Yeah. Slow again is for a hazard, the bend or side roads that like Des mentioned earlier. Okay, all that experience pays off, especially when you're doing driving lessons. You really want the best advice possible, don't you? So, you get what you pay for. Very good, that's right. Buy cheap, you buy twice. Yeah, it does actually. If you don't believe me, go to Two Day Pass at Instagram and you'll see everybody telling their stories of how they spent two, Where three, the band just four grand. Up. Pull up on the left at okay. the white tree mirror, and the lamppost. Just, mirror, just to share. Mirror, yeah. mirror, signal. Brilliant. And gently come in. Give a little bit of clearance on the curb. And uh, <laughs> one sec, Des. <laughs> Pull up by the white tree. Yes. Sorry, it was a little white to me. It could be a bit silver birch. <laughs> Comment down below. <laughs> <laughs> All right, okay, what's next? He'll <laughs> start. All right. Drive on when you're ready, please. Okay. Now, Desmond. We just talked about hill start, didn't we? So I said that, that tree is white. <laughs> Come back and I paint, paint it. it. Yeah, yeah, I will do that, Scott. <laughs> June. June. Julux, Julux, Julux. Matt White. Matt White. Yeah, definitely. just to just put a primer on it. Yeah, yeah already. Luminous. Yeah. <laughs> Glowing yeah. the dark for your nighttime lessons. Yeah. The winter's coming, ladies and gentlemen. It is. All right. Okay. All round observation. Signal right. Find the biting point. Here's your helices. And then on the gas hard. Up on the clutch all the way. Second gear. 
good. And back on the gas again. This is a steep hill. Yep. Third gear, Third back on the gas again. again. So when you're changing on an uphill, you need to add extra acceleration to counter for that loss of speed as you put the clutch down and change yep. the gear lever. Raising the clutch back up and back on that gas to keep that momentum going. Yeah, Otherwise right. you lose speed, yep. you end up slowing the traffic down behind you and you can fail your driving test. Yep. Sticking to the speed limit, guys, as we know, this is a weakness of mine, so constantly keep looking for signs. You'll find them on the lampposts usually, so look for lampposts, and that's where you're going to see your signs. That was how it got me, the trigger in my brain, to start looking for signs. I was thinking, lamppost, lamppost, oh, look, sign, lamppost, lamppost, oh, look, sign, and yeah, and that started to get me into a new habit um, of looking for signs. So I can see there's a mini roundabout coming up. Yep. So at the roundabout, we're going to be turning right. Please. Okay, so we're going to be turning right. Now, this could be any number exit. What's important is that I heard the examiner say turning right. That means I must signal right. So it's exit. nice and easy. You hear examiner say right, you know you must signal right. Mirror, mirror, signal right. Down into second gear. Slowing down. That is the absolute foundation. Back to first gear. Because I went down to a walking speed. I can use to. the brickwork, okay? Yep. All right, lovely. Mirror, mirror, signal left if you can. Yep. To show the exit. And then into second gear after I've exited that roundabout. Because it's a mini roundabout, kind of just did it in first yeah. gear. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Some mini roundabouts, you don't need to signal to exit. That's correct, yeah. Because yeah. it can mess up your steering. So it's best yes. to exit the roundabout, check your mirror and leave. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right, just following the road ahead, slow sure. means hazard, you've got traffic light there, no pedestrians nearby, this is pedestrian crossing. Bonus points for Desmond, what kind of crossing is that one, Des? That one is a Pelican crossing. Pelican, Pelican is the one that doesn't flash yellow, okay, right? Yeah, Pelican is yeah. that flashes yellow. Pelicans are flashing, yeah, oh yeah, pa the Pelicans. The can don't flash. What one of my students said is that you'd think the flashing one is puffing because it's got FF for like yeah, flash, yeah, no. but it's not. No, the acronym <laughs> is for uh, pedestrian user -friendly. friendly intelligent crossing. That's oh. the acronym. Puffing is pedestrian um, control crossing. All right, everybody Pelican. that's falling asleep, wake up. Pelican. We're still doing more. <laughs> yeah, Pelican. Alright, Pelicon. Is a, this is Pelicon crossing. Pelicon, yeah. ah. Pedestrian control. Crossing. Crossing. crossing, that's correct. Okay. Puffing as the sensor. Right, we're coming into a town centre, so I slightly reduce my speed, because you're going to get multiple hazards usually through the, through the high streets, town so centres. So at the Sandridge Park one-way system, follow the sign towards Grove Park, Lee Green, please. Grove Park, Lee Green. Yes, okay, so... Park. Following signs, I think, is probably more difficult. Where's there's no sign here? Keep going. You'll see it. Okay. You only can, it's one way system. You only can jump in one, yeah, one way. You'll see. Okay. So then I'll give you enough notice so you'll just follow the sign. Okay. What was it? Grove Park, Lee, Lee Green. Green. Keep to the right. I put a signal on and just kept to the right. I had to look over the grass to see that sign early enough. Yeah, yeah. brilliant. Right, okay, so I'm assuming it's straight ahead, so there I kind of need to change lanes, mirror, mirror. Yeah. There's enough distance, keep your speed going. And then I'm just going to stay in second gear because I've got this bend, which is going to give me engine braking. And I don't really need a lot of brake because the engine does it for me, keeps me at a slower speed. And that's what engine braking is. It's a bit like when I went down the hill, a couple of downhills there, just keeping it in a low gear, like second, really helps me to keep my speed and not go over the speed limit. I'm quite proud of myself actually. I shouldn't say this because I'm doing, I think I'm doing reasonably well with speed. We'll find out at the end, guys. There you go. Oh god, this is drama. Okay, right, uh, mirror check here, going back down to second gear. I don't know why I went into fourth gear. Right, I, I like four, I like changing up into yeah, higher gears. Like yeah, I like you, it when you the be car... like Lazarus, aren't you? Lazarus? You know Lazarus? Oh, one the one Jesus that's raised from the dead. Oh, Jesus raised from the dead because Jesus said oh. to him, come forth, Lazarus. Oh, come forth. forth. So, <laughs> you got a joke here. <laughs> what else, Scott? <laughs> <laughs> Stay tuned for more bad jokes. <laughs> that's, that's a good joke, man. Okay, that's I thought Lazarus joke. was the one that flew too close to the sun. No, man, Lazarus died. 
don't remember who Jesus that is, was. Jesus' is good friend, and he died, and Jesus stayed stayed too long to raise him from the dead. And then he raised him from the dead. Wow. And he, said, Jesus, and he had to say to him, Lazarus, come. He had to call his name. Yeah. Because if he didn't, every other dead, every other dead person would have got up. Oh. I've never heard that story. Okay. Right, where are we now? We're coming up to Grove Park. Grove Park, Park okay. To Grove Park. Still okay. continuing to follow signs Very to Grove good. Park. Yep. Okay, we've got a reasonably open road now, so I'm gaining a bit more speed since we've passed the high high street, uh, where I had that gentleman run across the road, uh, which is to be predicted on high streets. Mm -hmm. You're going to have pedestrians at the shops. They're Squeaks. most likely going to run out of squirrels. Go to the TikTok page for the squirrel. Oh my god, I can't believe that. Yeah, it happened. It ran out on the road and the student stopped. It was a 40 mile an hour road, it right? It was a 40 mile yeah. an hour road. But they did check their mirror. So they checked their mirror, that stopped. Was a, that was a good point. They checked Okay. It. And it was a serious driver fault. No, it would have been if they didn't check their mirror. Ah, so right. Okay. They so checked no one mirror. was behind. No one was behind. Okay, so they saved the squirrel's life, effectively. Yeah. Nice. Okay. It's a happy ending. Yes. <laughs> new road, new road. Okay, so we're looking here, and um, we've had a s slight speed change to 20, and this is where we've got to keep. I'm gearing down now to second gear. It feels so strange doing 20 in second gear. I'd usually be doing 20 in fourth gear. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so it's when it's like, all right. But you don't have gears in your car. It does but itself. Well, I can if I want to. Yeah, oh, yeah, you got the paddle. Yeah, yes, you can. But, yes. yeah. Now, the horrible part about this is the car behind me is breathing down my neck. You'll probably see it here, right? Now, I've got to stay at 20. So, you, do? you know, it's very difficult to. Got blue light to turn off. That's good. Do your best, is all I can say. Stay in the right lane for me. Okay. Yards, turn right onto Chedbrook Road. Lovely. Right now, to, uh, show me, tell me questions. We haven't done our no, show me, tell me no. questions, so I'm uh, just throwing that one out there. Uh, we've done one maneuver so far, so we've got three maneuvers yep. and the emergency stop, stop to, to go. go. Yeah. All right. Uh, hold technology neutral. Relax. So tell me how would you check the power? Or show me how you would check the power steering. Please. Okay, so we would switch engine on yep. and just twist the wheel left yep. and right. Make sure that it's nice and loose and free to steer. If it feels very stiff or heavy, then there would be a problem with the power steering. Yep. Brilliant. First gear. Desmond likes accelerator first, clutch second. So yes, that's right. Set we'll, gas. We'll keep the, keep the examiner happy. Very good. Oh, second gear. I can't see if I can make it to the other side, but fingers crossed. I'm going now, so I've committed. Make my way to the other Turn side right of the yellow box. Road. Did that say Kidbrook Road? No, Chinbrook, Chinbrook. Road. Okay. All this right. Is so this is um, Grove Park. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. not too far from. Oh no, it is. Further uh, down, yeah, it's it quite is, distant. Uh, yeah, yeah. 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 Kidbrook is about. Near yeah, it? yeah, it's about another three miles. From yeah. There. Yeah. Okay, we're turning right at the traffic lights because I'm in a right-only lane. I'm going to signal anyways, mirror mirror signal, because I think it will help pedestrians yeah, definitely. and cyclists, scooters, new road, new squirrels, rules. new road, new rules. All right, still 20. Okay, yes. so we're going to keep to the speed limit. One mile, uh, arrive at one Grove Park okay. Road, Elton College, on the right. Don't go into third gear no. <laughs> if you want to stay at 20. This car doesn't like third gear, it will take you faster. It will, yeah. yeah the engine braking won't help you. Yeah. Yeah, I do mm. like the. F I'm yeah, yeah. serious. I like the feel of this car. As well. Nah, <laughs> you're all right. Just keep confuse your pupils. Oh man. By the way, this is a manual, and you're used to driving automatic. But forget about that left pedal. Yeah, I'll use it. I'll help you. Oh, you got the clutch as well, don't yes, you? I do, yes. Yeah. Not like your car, you have one pedal. So, could we do this, um, I'll pretend I'm in an automatic and you change gears for a <laughs> bit. <laughs> that would be fun. Yeah. Right, still 20. And where should we have our hands on the wheel, Scott? What's the position that we normally adopt on the steering wheel? And tell me why. Very good. Why do we keep that position? Why is it important to have quarter three or ten to two? Because if the airbag goes Very off, we could. There was no loss. I want mark a minor. There's no loss of control, so there's no. It's not. A, it's not. A, it's a, a non-fault. 
I'm just really proud of myself. I didn't go over 20 miles an hour. Very good. Check mirrors, move, change direction, and following the road ahead. No examiner, uh, no directions given by the examiner. I'm checking the right side here because uh, two lanes off the merge into one on the opposite side of the junction. All right, you and will, we're checking speed limits again. And we're making sure that only once we reach this 30 sign, we go up into third gear. Very good. And then we can increase our speed after the 30 yeah, sign. Okay. We've passed from Lucian Borough to Bromley Borough. All right, and Bromley a little bit more. 30 uh, miles per hour. Can okay. pull up on the left somewhere convenient, please. Mirror, mirror, signal. At the white tree. No, at the tree. <laughs> <laughs> I was so confused. I just, I just get scrolled. All right, okay. And um, we're coming in, not too close. I can feel the drain. That's yeah, good excellent. enough. Uh, and then hold, neutral. Signal off. Relax. One, two, three. Excellent. So it's so important to do that one, two, three. Tell me why, Scott. Especially that signal. What can happen if you leave the signal off? What can happen is you, you can get a serious driver fall, yeah, yeah moving yeah. away with the less sig signal, uh, left yeah, signal yeah, on. I've so, done before, so I do teach to one, two, three yeah. technique. So hold, yeah. neutral, capsule signal, nice. one, two, three. Yeah. So you start from scratch. Cool. Okay, then. Routines are helpful. Very good. Routines really. bring order yep. and they're much safer yep. following the system. Yep. I didn't follow them at all when I was no. learning I and imagine. I kept failing. I can imagine. Yeah. And then how many times did you fail, Scott? I failed my theory test four times for the hazard perception because I thought I just knew it and I could just breeze through it. Well, so yeah. did, you, did you go to school? I didn't. You didn't? Huh? No. Okay. I dropped out of school. Yeah. <laughs> um, Typical. Yeah. Um, anyways, so uh, I eventually watched the introduction video. Yes. And studied it. Yes. And then passed. Good. It was quite yes. easy after that. And how many times did you pass your driving test? Uh, second time. Yeah, second yeah, time. Yeah, so practical, well. not yeah. too bad. Yeah. I just yeah. didn't really do yeah. any lessons yeah. and I just went and yeah. tried yeah. that one like okay. I did with the Viri test. Okay. Right, right. what's next? Drive on when you're ready, please. Right. Into gear. Feeling for the handbrake. Yes. There is no handbrake. <laughs> no handbrake. Just, okay. like, just like your car. All round observations. Yeah, I don't know why I keep going for that just handbrake. Like your car. How weird is yeah, that? Huh? Very weird. Yeah. Second very weird. Gear. Okay. When we get to the bend, there's a car park. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to be taking that right turn where that white car is. Oh, going. I know this car park. Okay. You're taking me back to West Wickham. No, it's not West Wickham. Dude, but West Wickham no. driving this car Won't park. We come down here. No. Here the green might come down. No, here. I've had them come in here at West Wickham. Use your hatchet markers. Mirror, mirror, signal Very moving good. in early to Very get a good, good position early. I know there's not enough room for both of us mm -hmm. here because I've been to this car park before. Mm -hmm. And so I'm going to leave space for them to get out, otherwise, I'm not going to get in. Move to the point where I need to turn and look into that bend because it is so hard to see if there's oncoming traffic first gear all the way through here because it's very narrow and if you do this is a two-way road yep if you do have an oncoming vehicle there's a passing point on the right yep. yes there's another passing point yep. further up on the right yep. so they really would need to move in for you yes, wouldn't they yeah yep. never move over to that yep. side always keep to the left Okay. Unless tells you to do so. All right, okay, cool. See, that's why okay, Desmond's cool. here, because he knows We can turn stuff. right to his first car yep. park. All right, me. cool. Mirrors so and signal. We use a small car. Yeah, there's another one further yeah, down. There is, okay, yeah. would you like me you over here? Around, yep, yep. Around okay. to the left. And, over and to stop the left. as soon as you can. Okay, so get the car nice and straight. I'm just going to stop here in the middle. And I'm going to put the hold and neutral and relax and Excellent. wait for my next instruction. Okay, I'd like you to, to go in forward into a bay. On mm -hmm. the left or the right, try and end up between the lines. Okay, start when you're ready. Right, so on the last mock test video, the lines were super invisible, like these ones. Mm -hmm. So these driving um, examiners slash driving instructors like to be a little bit cheeky, I think, and they're trying to get me. But then what Mark said to me was... Well, you chose the bay. There you go. And it's true, isn't it? You choose the bay. Exactly. I'm not telling you where to go. I'm actually exactly. going to the left or to the right. And that works for the test, doesn't That's it? Correct. Yeah. So the examiner says yeah. you choose. Yeah. And then you choose. There you go. So it's your yeah. responsibility. Yeah. You choose, you lose. That's Don't right. blame anybody yeah. for no. your mistakes. Yeah. Okay. 
Right, I said that, and what should I end up not in between the lines? And which bay is easier, the left oh, or the right spot? Which, the which, easier which, one is the one that's further away, which would normally be the right yes. side, because we'd keep to the left, and then we'd yeah. steer to the right. Yeah. So I'm going to go for the last bay, yes. because the lines nice are right. bright, yeah. okay? And then as I make my way forwards, I'm just checking over here, and I'm going to come over to create okay. more space. So you could call it the swing out method. Yeah, Brilliant. swan neck is what I've yeah, heard. Yeah. Or one, like a question mark, or one yeah, half of a yeah, love bar. Yeah. Right, I'm checking all the way around the vehicle and signalling, just in case. And then we're going to swing it from a far distance towards the bay. That way the car is nice and straight as we come into the bay. Desmond's got these... Mm, You've got one. I was Perfect. just about to say, he's got these... Amazing mirrors. Which I can't see. This was the same thing that happened I can to see. Mark. I can just about Check see Check your it. one. Yeah, yeah. You can see your one. Once right. your side is in, the other side will be in. Cool. If it's even, you know yeah. you're in. If right, you're not so sure, you can open your door. What I'm doing is I'm looking yeah, at that little circle mirror there, or the little egg-shaped mirror down at mm -hmm. the bottom. I can see the line. I can see the distance that I am from this line. Yep. Um, Mr. Examiner, mm -hmm. is it all right if I switch off the engine and secure the vehicle and walk around the vehicle? No, won't need to. Won't need no, to. just open the door. Okay. If you're not sure. Yeah, then you can reverse back and shunt it if you not if you want okay. to make a um, second. Of, so yeah, what do you call it, that? I call it correction. Yeah, to correct yeah. it. Yeah, shunt so it. You get a minor. You get a minor. So yeah. you can correct it yeah. if you need to. All right, but you so don't need to switch the car on. Yeah, comfortable with that. Brilliant. Okay. Okay then. All right. I like it. reverse round. Bring the back round to the left so we can leave the car park, please. Okay, up and down. Should we do the quick reverse one here? Yes. We want to carry. Yep. 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 Okay. All round observations. Set gas. Set Over. gas. Get rid of the go. hold. There you go. And just nice and gentle, take it hard round to the left. There's no yeah. vehicles next to me in that bay, so I can swing it hard and come more into the middle rather than going further back and over into that bay yeah. there. All right, so we're going to go into something, the manoeuvre now, yeah? Yes. All right, so I'm waiting for your instructions. Okay, so you're going to, do you want to do reverse bay parking? Yeah, while well, yeah, we're here. Miles, do it one time. Yeah. So I'd like you to reverse you to any bay. Yep. Um, on the on the right, on the left for me. Okay. Um, and again, end up between the lines. All right, lovely. We'll start with Okay, you. brilliant. Uh, do me a cheesy quaver, with this. Mm -hmm. Would you grab that mm -hmm. and just show everybody this um, beautiful camera that mm -hmm. we have here, yep. which can really help us. Yes. And importantly, at the top here, it tells us to check entire surroundings. So before yes. I move, because yes. I'm in a car park, I'm just going to have a good look around. Uh, yeah. Cool. And then we're moving. And I'm going to position my vehicle at the third line from the bay that I want to. And I've been instructed to do it on the left. Yes, please. So we're going to take uh, a third line back. So I'm going to go into reverse gear. Yes, you are. Oh, come on. Yep. There we yep. go. All right. And I really want to go in that one back there. Yep. So I'm going to actually go a bit further back to get my reference point. So one, two, three. So it's the next line coming. So we just show the ladies and gentlemen this faded line here on the left-hand side. Yep. So this line, I want to be roughly somewhere in the middle near this door yep. handle. Yes. Yeah? Yeah. So if I just grab that from you. So if we just show, this is what I can see, yep. which is that line somewhere in line with the door handle. Yep. But what's more important, if you just mind grabbing that, yep. okay, is that now I'm in this position... What I can do is turn the steering yep. and actually see these lines here, the, the horizontal lines yep. of my tyres. And I can see how they're arcing and going into the bay. Mm -hmm. So now I'm just going to do my all-round observations again. If I want to add a signal, which would be an indicator, I can. I've already got the reverse lights on, so that is a signal to any other road users um, that I would be reversing. And then Check I'm just going really point. slow and just doing plenty of observations as I very slowly come round. Yes. Now, I can stop halfway, have a look to see if the tyres are still coming in, yes. which they are. I don't need to worry too much about the bit at the end which is going out okay. because we're going to straighten up once we get into the bay. Again, all-round observations, just coming back nice and slow and just taking my time and then very slowly keeping these thick 
yellow lines it ties off in the bay in, yep. into the white lines and then i'm coming back super super slow and what's nice as well and if we could just share this with the people uh viewing uh the egg-shaped mirror down the bottom yep. there again des and we can even use those to see the white lines on the side of the vehicle and we can kind of judge to see how straight these lines are with the vehicle and if they're nice and straight like they're nice and straight here I straighten my wheel completely straight, you can keep that all nice and straight, and I'm just going to gently, again observations, gently take it back until the red line is somewhere near the edge of the bay. Again, really slow, no need to rush your manoeuvres, that's somewhere near the fence now, which is the back of the bay. We're going to stop, put a whole technology on again, and then we're going to go into neutral, and we're just going to check that's definitely in neutral, so I can fully relax and listen to my next instruction from the examiner. Excellent. Very good, thank you. Um, drive on ahead. At the entrance, we're going to be turning to our right, please. Lovely. Beautiful. Okay, so we're going to go back out the way we came in. All right, so I'm going to do my all-round observations again. And then we're going to maybe add a signal just in case that lady in her car over there that's parked in the middle of two bays uh, is going to move off. So then we can show her and that will be it. Very good. Yeah. So gas first, biting point Quite second. second. Yep. Otherwise Desmond's head's going to explode. <laughs> Excellent. And what one, one thing I could mention is sometimes when Scott went into reverse gear, because he had the clutch down for so long, the hydraulic system runs dry. So it's good sometimes to pump the clutch in neutral, put it down a second time, and then select a fresh gear change. Yeah, there's another option as well. Buy an automatic car. <laughs> it is, isn't it? That's right. So don't worry. All, the all the people that are refusing will be forced. So there you go. The resistance is futile. The resistance is, is futile, futile. yeah. Progress. Turn right at the end of the road, please. Okay, mirror, mirror, signal right. And please bash me in the comments down below for hating manual cars because I'm only joking, really. I don't mind manual cars, but yeah, we get the point. Right, now, checking speed limits. So, I don't see any speed signs. So, last speed sign I had was... 30. All right. Yeah, we changed over. Yeah. And the lamppost changed color. Yes. Green, I heard. Yeah. Bromley. Bromley Burroughs, yes. And the other ones are black. Bromley black. Yeah. Yeah. The roundabout, take the fifth exit to Bruce Park Road. the roundabout, ignore the sat nav, follow the road ahead. Okay. Second turn. Right, I'm going to go into second gear. Slow down. Remember, this is the secret, the foundations, early vision, early decision. There's a gentleman on the right that's reversing. And now he's going forwards. So there's blockers, but look, the blocker's got a signal. So I'm just going to just wait because there's some madness going on here. Let them finish their weirdness and then I'll continue and you can drive on the brickwork. All right, a little bit on the brickwork to avoid hitting the curb. The look at that curb. Yeah. It's been smashed. Yeah. See, you're like me, Des. Yeah. At the You've got to yeah. cut it a yeah. little yeah. bit. Yeah. At the roundabout, turn right. Please. At the roundabout, turn right. Mirror, mirror, signal. And you can drive on the brickwork. Yeah, the green don't... come uh, here, no? They do come down here. Oh, my God. Do. Desmond's taking me everywhere. Mirror, yeah. mirror, signal left. This is amazing. Yeah. Okay, cool. All Watch right, watching this mirrors. guy. Yep. Checking my mirror. Yep. Just for a little change of direction. Yep. Keep roughly one meter from the parked cars. Checking my left mirror. Coming back in. So interior mirror, left mirror. Uh, for change of direction. Uh, 20 miles an hour. Oh. Yeah. Well, I'm thinking just yep. there, but... Yep. Oh. Now it's getting more space. Yeah, 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 yeah we're yeah. going to go up a bit. Uh, okay, lovely. Um, right, cool. Those signs are super confusing because they're twisted. So it says 20 zone ends, 30 zone begins, yep. and then it says 20. If you can, wait, well, if you turn for those side roads. If you turn in, it's 20. Yes, yeah, but then it says 30 and 20. So twisted. there's two. Something's twisted. It. So confusing. Yes, yeah, because you shouldn't see that 30 sign because somebody's been playing with it. Yeah. Yeah. Right, so um, look at the road that you're on. But see, side roads sometimes 20. can give see, you her help. 20. Yeah, now yeah. it is. Yeah. yeah. Right, okay. Um, we're all right. We're 
24, so yeah. the car in front's doing the yeah. same speed. Not much I can do about that. I'm going to make sure I'm still keeping one meter from the curb, roughly, so that I can give some room to that bus that looked like he was going to step out a little bit there over the line. Okay, checking the right mirror, I can see the parked cars coming up, so I'm going to make sure interior mirror, right mirror to change direction here, interior mirror for change of speed here, clutch down all the way, and slowly into first gear. Don't force it. If you've got a bit of momentum going, you'll feel the gear lever resists, yeah, doesn't it? Because you're not at a, a speed that's happy for that. Like yeah. yeah. That's correct. So we've got to make sure we don't force it into first, yeah. just a little bit of pressure. Eventually, it'll just slot in, yeah, right now. Will. Yeah. And then I'm using first gear, obviously, to move off. Yeah. The car's telling me to change up to third gear. So I'm going to keep third gear, keep 30, see how it feels on this hill. Probably Desmond's brain's thinking, why is he in third? Why not oh, just keep no, it in second? Good. Yeah. Oh, All right. So we're going to keep it at 30. Eco -friendly. Eco -friendly That's it. Thank you. Um, you know, I do appreciate yeah. the planet that we live yeah. on. Yeah. I'm not yeah. even joking. Yeah. Yeah. No. And no. that's why I'm encouraging electric cars. Is it? Now the lights turn right, please. Okay. Automatic. Mirror, mirror signal, yeah. It, we laugh about it now, yeah. but it's serious. Yeah. This is a thing, man. Like, it's not a joke. Yeah. All right, okay, down into second gear. Mirror, mirror, signal right. It's already done, obviously, but I'm just checking my mirrors again. All right, keep in second gear until I suss out the speed limit. There's yeah. no signs on the entry, so therefore yeah. we are still on a 30 road. Yeah. Okay, it's so important for me, guys. Yeah. I can't stress that speed limit man it's just like we put that down as number two didn't we appropriate speed, speed. so make sure you're doing the right speed, speed for the road that you're yeah. on okay appropriate speed means also that you're doing a safe speed so if you get the high street like i did earlier and i said 20 yeah. even though it was a 30 road yeah. there you i'm keeping 20 because yeah i got people i got cars parked yeah. people open doors etc okay mini roundabout no directions, Very follow good. the road ahead. You got it. Okay, going down into second gear. It's an uphill, and if I need to stop and slow down, second's going to help me. Very and no one's speed. on the right. You You're keeping good. the road, uh, keeping the lane, and going straight. Okay, uh, into third gear slowly. And there we go. And just watch my speed again. Checking the mirrors thoroughly, guys. It's like I'm watching a tennis match even when I'm going straight. Now, I have created the habit, which I'm sure anybody that is at yep. the level that a driving instructor would have yep. of doing it without even noticing we're doing it we just our head just ticks yep. around yep. doesn't yep. it our eyes are always yep. constantly yep. and you were saying yep. about you're now teaching somebody that's deaf yep. Yep. and you're having to cater your styles to this new type of learning yep. and what did you notice about people that have problems with hearing they're reading a road 100 percent quicker than that person that can hear so they're even looking more than we are probably looking, yeah. All right, I have priority. There's no traffic on the right. Slightly biting the roundabout to yeah. avoid smashing into the curb. Yep. Okay, so it's necessary and it's safe, okay? Yep. So that's why I'm biting the roundabout. Okay, I'm in fourth gear. Car doesn't, doesn't like, like it. it. Back into third gear. Come on, we're trying to be eco-friendly, car. It is eco. He's letting <laughs> you know he doesn't want fourth gear. Okay. So the emissions, yeah. That would be fourth. higher. Yeah. Third so if you're fine. too low a revs, then it's going to burn fuel. It, yeah, ah. it's going to burn fuel. Really? So you've got to be in an optimal yeah, gear to match the speed. Right. Yeah. I didn't know that. And the car tells you. Mm. Most new cars will tell you yep. to change the gear. Yep. And in a manual, obviously. Yep. In automatic, it does it itself. It does, yeah. Mm -hmm. So I find that probably autos might drink a bit more yeah. because they, uh, they, yeah. they don't change. You, they, you change a manual. Well, it auto will change itself. Unless you kick it down, then it will change. You know, electric, mm. right? Yeah. I don't have one. No. Um, I was speaking to an instructor with yeah. one. Follow the sign to Bromley. £60 a month. Yeah. yeah. How much oh. are you spending a month in fuel? Oh. Mirror, mirror, signal, right? A lot. Uh, probably over... In a week, I will fill up twice. So, you're looking at... Uh, 120 pound a week so charm that by four there you go yeah so not only is electric going to be better yeah. from the environment because they most of them are yeah. renewable energy yes they are um, yes. where they're being powered from so it's yeah. not coal stations no. that pump out loads of pollution and also uh what was i saying about the electric car there there was something else um 
Oh, yeah, the £60 a month in fuel. Yeah, like, yeah, what? Yep, yep, yep. You're saving money on your fuel bills. Yeah, the only yep. downside is that they are quite expensive, aren't yes, they? they are. So, I mean, you're looking at something from 33000 yeah. something upwards. around yeah. there, upwards, yeah. yeah. But still, you know, these cars as a fossil fuel yep. car, yep. or combustion engine yep. as they're called, yep. they start at around that price yep. as well. Yep. So it depends yep. what electric car yep. you buy. You know. new, yeah, most yeah. people are buying used cars now. Yeah. They, they, they don't want to buy a, a fossil fuel. Yeah. A, a new one, because they, they're more expensive. Yeah. So if you buy a second-hand car, yeah. it's going to be yeah. less less of the price. Yeah, a lot less. Yeah. 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 And you're not really gaining so much from buying a new car, are you? No. You know, no. so um, depends on the person, but second hand's really what good. Are you gonna use, what are you going to use it for? Okay. Yeah, it depends okay. on yeah. Okay. Lucky to follow the sat nav for a while. Mm-hmm. In 100 yards, keep right onto Orchard Road. Okay. Keep right onto Orchard Road. The reason why I saying keep right because the road changes from Sundridge Park Avenue to Orchard Road. Okay. It's a new road now. Okay. It's the same road, buddy. Yeah. In a quarter of a mile, the enter changed. the roundabout. Okay, so we've got a quarter of a mile to the roundabout. I've done my show me question. Mm-hmm. Should we crack through a tell me one? Okay. Tell me how you would check if your head restraint's in the correct position. Okay, so we want to have the head restraint adjusted, if you mm-hmm. can adjust it. Good, like this isn't car. one that you can't. No, you Good. can't no. adjust it. Same there seats. Um, so we would like to have the headrest, if adjustable, I like to say the middle of the headrest yes. with the middle of your head. Very good. Yep. Yep. Good. Just there At to the support roundabout. your head. Yes. Take the third exit to play still okay. lane. Okay, mirror, mirror, signal, roughly five to ten car lengths from the junction. Mm-hmm. Some people say six to twelve yep. or yep. something, don't yep. they? Early vision, early decision, second gear, no one on the right. Yep. Bite the roundabout yep. very slightly. So you don't need the signal to come off. Lovely. Just and then mirror, roundabout. mirror, there signal you if you yeah. can, if but you, you don't to, need don't to. to. Yeah, because no. it's just one lane. Yeah, that's right. Did that turn the cruise control on? You must have put the limiter. So right. I'll sort it for you. There Thank you, you. I tapped that instead yeah. of the yeah. signal. In half a yeah. mile, enter the roundabout. Okay, so we've got half a mile. This area looks familiar. We were here earlier. Yes, it's we were going one that one way. System. Plaza Lane, yep, and we're coming back the same way we came earlier. Lovely. Okay, we've got a 30 zone here, lampposts are still green. Very good. So we're in Bromley. Yes, we are. All right, it's always good to know. Um, one other driving instructor shared that with me while I was at West Wickham. Mm-hmm. He said, oh, things you need to know if the lampposts are green. Yeah, yep, you're in Bromley Borough. <laughs> 30 miles an hour, unless it's in a school area. Okay. Because now they've got the new school. 20 miles per hour, just in that school area. Nice. At the right. roundabout, take the fourth exit to Burnt Ash Lane. We are getting closer. This is where the man ran out, I think, in the road. Yeah. So we're coming back into a high street. Yeah. Um, third gear feels okay at yeah. the moment. So um, I think I'll keep yeah. it. I can see the reflections yeah. off the windows yeah. of the shops, of the oncoming yeah. traffic. But as, you, but as you come to the one-way system, I recommend second. Okay, yes, then you get closer. You're getting less things to do when you get to the one way system. Yep. The gear is ready in. Yep. All you've got to get your speed and approach Excellent. and jump in when it's safe. Very, very, very good advice. Look at that. Yeah. Look at that. Nice view. Okay. See? Jump straight in. Mm. Could have gone straight in. Yeah, could have. Could yeah. have. Didn't I had have someone there on the right, wasn't too sure, but yeah, yeah. probably because I'm talking about. Yeah. Okay, and then I'm going to keep the right. Um, I'm going to signal right because I'm actually yeah. going to keep going yeah. round. Same place so, again. Yeah. Go partly green. Okay, so just keep the right lane. It's a one-way system. And as soon as you come around the bend, yeah. try and move back to my side immediately. Okay, so, so we've got the left lane. Take the exit mirror, mirror, to the signal. Lane. And then cancel. And then spiraling. Cancel it. And then straight cancel down and there, straight. Yeah, right. I would have gone so down important. there otherwise. If you le- yeah, if you left it on. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. so important that you cancel yeah. the signal. Now, if you don't signal, it's just about defending that In side, mind, isn't it? Yes. Spiraling. Yeah. Test yeah. center on the left. Okay. I'm going to count to the sat now down. Take the first road on the left, please. First road on the left, mirror, mirror, signal, second gear. Blind bend, ready to stop just in case. Wide, the... wide, quite a wide road. Yeah, very wide. Yeah. yeah. Couldn't see, so I was anticipating possibly stopping. Mm-hmm. Just in case there was traffic coming out. Yep. And if you 
you can pull up just behind that grey van where the green lamppost is, please. You can sink the clutch earlier. As you felt that, stop, yeah. You sink it earlier. Okay, we're going to do the parallel parking. So what I'd like you to do, Scott, is to go beside this transporter van, stop, reverse park within two car lengths, keeping reasonably close parallel to the curb. Lovely. Okay. Right, so then our parallel park, which is now called reverse park, your examiner asks to pull over and stop on the left, then give you your directions or instructions, just like Desmond, the examiner, has just done. Uh, so I'm coming out, I'm going to stop roughly one metre away or door width from the park vehicle. Alongside, parallel to them, I'm going to go into reverse gear, pulling up and pushing down over to the left side of the yeah, gear lever. Some people indicate down as well. Lovely. Before they put the reverse in, that will give people information that you're parking, you're not moving. Yes, yeah. yes, yeah. so you've so got the white lights on. I've got white lights nice. and brake lights yeah. now because I'm holding. Good. So if you just show people how I'm holding my feet, that'd be brilliant for us, Des, so everybody sees that. And now by me holding, I see Des. So by me holding the brake light and holding the clutch down, the people behind know I'm in reverse gear because they see the white lights yep. and they know I'm not moving because I've got the brake light on. Brilliant. So that's good. So I'm just holding that while I'm waiting for the traffic to pass. Yeah. Now, if you just show everybody the all-round observations. So we've got uh, least dangerous being the left all the way round to the most dangerous. I'm going to add a signal and then I'm slowly, to show people the reverse camera, that would be perfect. Yep. I've got Desmond on camera duty today. Uh, all round observation, slowly coming back, I say, until the mirror reaches the back of the car. So if we can just show that to the viewers as well. So we've got our mirror sort of alongside the back of the vehicle. And then now we'll come back here. I'm going to do my blind spot check, aren't I, Des? Out this back window. Yes, you are. Okay, so we can see out the back. There's no one coming. We're going to now start to swing. But there's a vehicle in front. It's going so slow, I'm going to start my manoeuvre because the roads are very wide as well. Yeah. I teach a full lock steering, so I fully lock the steering. Desmond's got his little dot here, which means when that little dot touches the kerb, I stop and I full lock steering the other way. I'm going to do all round observations again. It looks like the tyre might come in and scuff the kerb. Yeah. So I'm just going to come back very gentle. Did you okay, so it's like it's good so far. I can't really see the mirror. So I'm going to come back using the van. So we're using the van, okay? All right, I'm going to stop there. I'm going to go into first gear. Now, this is good. So everybody that's watching this, I'll get a minor driver fault for this. However, when you stop, you change gear. So if we just show people I've gone into first gear now. Yeah. Okay, so I'm up here in first gear. Yeah. And now what I'm going to do with the steering wheel is fully lock the steering wheel to the left. Yep. Now, when I move forwards, again, just doing all round observations, I can have a signal on. I'm just going very slowly move forwards. And if we just show people how quickly the direction of the vehicle changes. See, it comes in instantly with this space that I used at the beginning. Remember, I came back to my mirror was at the back of the vehicle. And that space gave me this room at the end to move forwards into. OK, I'm quite happy with my position. So I'm just going to put the car into hold and neutral. And I'm just going to relax. And that is my parallel parking done, which I received a minor driver fault for because I did a correction. But yes. at least I finished in the correct position, not hanging out in the road. I don't go over the pavement, which would fail me. So, you know, take the correction when you yeah. need the correction. That's correct. Okay. That's correct. Good. All right, now I'm going to relax and listen to my examiner. And drive them when you're ready, please. Okay, so obviously because I'm super close to the car, I'll have to reverse. So I'm going to do all-round observations and very slowly use the clutch control only. So it's very slowly down and very slowly up on the clutch, a little bit down, a little bit up, just to get the car to move really slowly. So I'm gaining distance from the vehicle in front. And then when I've got at least a car length, I'm going to move off. So I'm going to go back into first gear, all round observations again and signal. And then I'm going to make sure it's clear by double checking the right side, the most dangerous side. I am in first gear, but it sounds like it's not. OK, and then gently up on the clutch all the way. More gas down on the clutch, second gear on a 30 road down on the clutch. Third gear, yep. and then See. down on the clutch, See, and all mm, the, not fourth gear. Very good, and all the gears were done before 20, so yeah. that's a smooth transition yeah. in the manual. 
Yeah. yeah. How, how much fun is that teaching that to your learners? Very good. Yeah? Yeah, fun, fun. Okay. Fun, 100% fun. I remember that. Fun. Yeah. It was good times. Take the first road on the left. Please. Okay, first road on the left. Mirror, mirror, signal. Left. It's a bit strange. I don't know what camera that was. This one's that one. Okay, and I think we're almost back to test centre, right? Yeah, we're there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we've got emergency stop to do. Yep. Yeah. You can pull up on the left just before the silver car, please. Okay, mirror, mirror, signal, left. A nice little place there. High curb. It. So you sunk the clutch earlier. Mm. So when parking, you actually can put the clutch down earlier. You're not coasting because you're pulling up and you control the brake. So is that battery gone then? That one's gone, yeah. That's all right. We can just keep going. Cool. Okay. These so, ones are still running. Okay. So shortly, I'd like you to stop the car in an emergency. Just like if somebody ran it in front of us. The signal will be stop. Mm -hmm. But before I say stop, mm -hmm. I'm going to check behind. Don't stop the car until I give the signal, please. Okay. All right. Lovely. Okay, then. Driver, when you're ready, please. Okay. All round observations, yep. change the signal to the right, yep. add the gas, find the biting point, move off. Second gear, and waiting. Stop. Thank you, and after the exercise again, drive on when you're ready. Please. All round observations, this is the hard part, remember to look all the way around before you drive away after doing your controlled stop. Okay, end of the road, we're going to be turning to our left, please. Okay. Mirror, mirror, signal left. And this is a closed junction, peep and creep. Look both directions multiple times and slowly moving out into the road until you can see it's completely clear and then keep going. Slowing down, oncoming traffic, they stop for me. So judge the oncoming traffic by their speed and secondly, direction. So see the oncoming traffic slowing down, most likely you're going to keep going, yeah. right? Okay, yeah. so the speed is really the yeah. best way to Follow judge. Follow the sat again for me. Okay, so we've got a roundabout coming up. We're going to be taking what looks like the second exit straight. So we can see the road the roundabout, markings. Take the second exit to play still lane. And must use the right lane because the left lane is left only. Second gear, slowing down, early vision, early decision. From right lane the into the right to lane. lane. And then mirror, mirror, signal left and keep to the left as I go down the exit. Cancel the signal because of the side road here. And I'm checking speed limits. So we've still got In no signs. Still green lampposts. Yep. Lovely. Okay, and then back into third gear. Not a good choice to go uphill and into a bend, but I'm keeping some gas, good. so it's all good. right, yeah. Good. Okay, all right, we so. Can start back to where we can now, yeah. All right, uh, we're not yeah. finishing at the test centre. Do you want to finish at the centre? Uh, we can finish anywhere here, actually. Yep. So if you just yep. choose somewhere, let's pull okay. up. Cool, cool. I'll wait for your instruction. We get to the Nissan dealer, you'll see the Nissan dealer on the right hand side. Okay. There's a couple of parking spaces around the bend. Okay. So I've seen the Nissan dealer. So get around the bend past the Pelican. At the oh, okay. Right. Take the second exit to play still lane. So, down the sat -nav. so after the bend, pull up on the left, somewhere convenient, please. Okay. Mirror, mirror, signal left. Double yellow lines, cancel the signal. Looking ahead for lampposts or trees for raised curb, but I don't want double yellow lines. I can see a parked vehicle. Uh, mirror, mirror signal. I'm going to go behind him. Yeah, it's good. Okay, let's come in here. Not hit the curb though because it's quite high, and I think that's decent. And then that's it. I'm going to hold. Put the hold, Cancel neutral. Signal. One, two, three. Yeah, and two. switch off. And just yep, stop your yeah. car and the handbrake will come in automatically. Okay, lovely. There you go. Excellent. Cool. All right, so let me just add up the mark, Scott. Give me a few seconds. That was quite a good drive for something that doesn't drive a manual much. So all together, I would say that was a good, that was a pass. 
and you've got two minor faults in total. One on your your parking when you had to fix the the maneuver, and the other one, the other minor was, I said, going to the hatchet marker when we went into the car park. You could have gone in earlier, but I just put it down as a as a minor. I was going to give another minor when you was um approached a one way system and you could have gone in before that full focus. But you just chose to stop, but it wasn't a big wasn't a biggie. Okay. Yeah. One tip, don't talk over your examiner. Wait for them to finish. <laughs> Second tip, have a pass. Have a pass. Yes. 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 yes, you did pass. Yeah. Woo! He has passed. A he pass. Has. A pass. Yeah. I'm so happy because I found the last one. Yeah. Woo! Yeah. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. Oh, I'm psyched. Brilliant. Brilliant. That's a good result. Brilliant. 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 Thanks for watching, guys. Thanks to Desmond. Yep. Excellent. Two now it's pass. his turn. Yes. Yeah. So if you want to come do a two-day intensive course, Desmond's the man for South East London. I think West Wickham's the one for yeah. that, really. West Wickham, West yeah. Wickham, guys. So if you've got West Wickham test, definitely call Desmond. Yeah. Get you sorted in a couple of days. Yeah. All right. Um, anything else you would like to add? No. No. That was that was good. That was good. Good drive. Good. You ready for your turn? Good awareness. Yeah. I'm ready for my turn. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Let's do it. Let's do it. So stay safe. Stay tuned. See you next time.